Hey, 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 everybody, it's your Prof Chof, and we're back again with a new Salmon Nether video. This is Zhang Zhong Chang. I don't know if I pronounced that right. The Dog Meat General. I'm pretty sure I've seen videos about this guy, but let's see what Salmon Nether teaches us about him. Hey kids, today I've got another character What's up, bro? for you all, a man known as Zhang Zhengshan. In 1881, okay, I was he was close. born into poverty in the Shandong region Ooh. of China. His father was a head shaver, not a barber, mind you. If a head shaver is a barber, a then a ditch shaver is an architect. He also moonlit as an alcoholic. His mom, meanwhile, oh. was a literal practicing witch and exorcist, already a recipe for success. A witch and exorcist. Fair enough. Zhang joined a group of roving bandits at age 20, as one does, right around the of Sinai course. Revolution, where the Qing Dynasty was overthrown and the Republic of China was established. But in 1916, the kidneys of the nation's widely disliked monarchist leader Dun shat the bed, causing a power vacuum that ultimately led Jesus. to what is known as the Warlord Era of the Republic. During this time... Oh. China fell apart. Again. Different regions of China were constantly shifting God hands between damn. a collection of separate military groups, all of whom were ruthless both to each other and to the people they ruled over. And yep. through charisma, favors to the right people, and a keen sense of military pragmatism, our humble... Okay. I don't know how close this look is to real life here, but how does he have charisma? He has shit on his face, still. Highwaymen soon came hell? to be one of these warlords. Now, Zhang was quite skilled as the leader of war. After the Russian mm. Civil War, he recruited thousands of fleeing white Russians, not beverages, but Bolshevik butchers, which mm. bolstered his battalions and brought big bonuses to his bloodshed. He also made efficient use of armored trains, which proved to be highly cost-effective at transporting large amounts Looks of like troops a Dark Souls supplies. boss. But that's not what you people care about. You want some clownage. Well, rest assured, Less. Zhang was that's quite cool. the character. Now, we all know the age-old debate between positive and negative reinforcement. On the one hand, if you treat people well, you'll probably get the same treatment back later down the line. But on the other hand, nobody's ever taught a tiger to jump through flaming hoops with just pets and temptations. And if you think that's messed up, that's because, well, yeah, it is. It is messed up. Evil. But like all great leaders... Hey, Jean bro, my dad was telling me about we used to have these, like, uh, gypsy circuses. Like, it's not a full-on circle, but gypsies would somehow get bears in captivity, like black bears. Uh, take out their teeth and claws and parade them around towns when he was little. Like, bro, I don't know what was happening in Bulgaria in the 50s and the 60s, 70s, 80s, but yo... She was wild. Zhang knew how to appropriately apply both the carrot and the stick. As an example of the, the form, he go? defeated the forces of enemy general Wu Pei Fu largely by Wu convincing members of his army to defect, with the promise ah. that they could keep their original rank after switching sides, which he fulfilled. But then he was like, yeah, I don't know if my loyal men would be too happy about being outranked by strangers. Well, only one solution here. Kill them. All my guys are ranking up. Problem yep. was, so many officers were promoted <laughs> that Zhang literally ran out of gold and silver to make new insignias. He was like, oh, ah, I gotta God. think about this. Went out for a smoke. Look down. Hey, wait a minute. And add the rest. Hey, bro, just do like the Olympics. You know, give them a little smidget of gold on the gold medal. Mine might not even be so gold. The emblems made out of the colorful foil found in cigarette packages. Genius. It said that during the promotion ceremony, people would look down and notice their little star already had a rip in it before the event was even over. But hey, there's still a colonel or poobah or whatever now. They can't complain. On another occasion, he proudly announced that he would either win an upcoming battle uh -huh. or return home in his coffin. And though Zhang was many things, he was not a liar. So after he ended up retreating, his men paraded him through the streets in a casket while he waved and yeah, shaved on a cigar. So you're probably wondering why they called him the dog meat general. At this point, my head was swimming with lurid what? fantasies about him eating dog flesh or wearing dog flesh or eating dog flesh Turns while out, wearing dog pie, flesh real into pie gal of which the act of playing pie was colloquially cow. referred to as eating dog meat and also because oh, he, he was also some wait wait what was yo we can't just skip that what the hell was that eating dog meat and also because he Jean Rapoli ate meat of a black chow chow dogs every day as it was popularly believed at the time that this meat would be would boost a man's virility well, I only got one question. Did it work, though? Zhang? He was also sometimes jokingly Chow referred pretty cute. to as the three don't knows, since he didn't know how three much money knows. he had, how many concubines he had, or Ew. how many men were in his army. Well, funny, there was some truth to the nickname, which did sometimes cause issues. Some were minor. For one, he had a lot of trouble remembering the names of the 30 to 50 women of all nationalities Beef. in his harem, but he got around this by just assigning them numbers. Bro, people barely survive having one woman. How does a man... Keep in check 30 to 50 women. How did he not get his nuts cut off and shoved in his mouth while he slept? Numbers. Number four is real flexible. Damn. 27 makes a killer peach. Aww. Watch out for 14. She's a biter. And so forth. Other times, things got Damn, a little looks more like dire. Later in his career, Zhang became the military governor of the province of Shandong. And while the Shandong. warlord life suited him, domestic affairs were another story. Mm. Rampant human rights violations... 
Having a reputation once the most brutal and ruthless warlord, Jan was notorious for his hobby of splitting the skulls of prisoners with his sword and for hanging dissidents from telephone poles. They had telephone poles at that time? Cool. Several, several of his concubines had been forcibly seized from rich families in Shandong. Zhang became close connected to Shanghai, its criminal gangs, and the drug trade. As aside, the whole thing was huh. just way poorly managed. For example, while Zhang did collect taxes on everything from theater performances to tobacco examination licenses, relatively little of his extortions went towards his war efforts or this anything guy. practical, with most of it being funneled Jesus. into projects and Chip his own monk motherfucker. So how did he fund his army? Well, for those playing at home, it's time to take a shot. Because Zhang printed tens of millions of dollars worth ah. of paper money in the form of military stamps with no reserve to back them up. Obviously, massive Hey, that is genius, though. You print all the money... And you probably, listen, as a warlord in that time of China, you're probably not going to live to the, you know, old age. So you die in like 15, 20 years, hopefully. You've lived as a rich ass motherfucker. And then it's the next guy's problem to deal with it. Genius. Inflation ensued, but Zhang just said no. -uh. Insisted the stamps had only like a economy. real money and continued paying his men at the same rate. Fortunately for them, the invisible hand of the market is no match for the very visible fist of the soldier because <laughs> they just kick old merchant ladies' Damn. asses till they accepted the currency at face value. But unfortunately, Damn. kicking old ladies' asses can't solve everything. In the wow. summer of 1927, Shandong was hit with a famine caused primarily by drought. At the time, many people prayed to Zhang Xian, a folk deity, Zhang in an Xian. attempt to bring rain to these crusty lands. But Zhang Zhang Shang, he don't get on his knees for no oh, he walked right up I remember this. I think he shot at the gods, right? Well, it, he thought he shot at the gods. The statue in Xian's temple starts bitch slapping. Okay, him, maybe I'm remembering wrong. With its sister, and then has his artillery crew fire shells straight into okay, the I'm sky. Okay, I'm not wrong. To show that god who he's dealing with. Sources differ on when the next Psychopath rain was, but it did eventually rain. So in the end, Zhang Shang got the last laugh. Did Speaking he know? Speaking of which, our boy was also a renowned poet. There's Yo, a piece he wrote about that nice very cock. event. <clears throat> the sky god is also named Zhang. Why does he make life hard for me? <laughs> if it doesn't rain in three days, I'll demolish your temple. Then I'll have cannons bombard your mom truly prophetic he's got a few other good ones too let me just dim the lights real quick yeah let's this go it's called visiting mount tai mm. from afar mount tai looks blackish narrow on top and wide at the bottom if you flipped it upside down it would be narrow at the bottom and wide Genius. on top i like that one a lot because it's like that's it heard about metaphor that's it wow homie was bright Without real bright supposed to have a second meaning this one's titled poem about bastards you tell me to do this he tells me to do that. You are all bastards. Go fuck your mother. Poignant. But unlike most poets, yeah, same for mothers in Emily Dickinson, Zhang was quite well endowed. He ah. was often referred to as General 86, as when Zhang Jr. stood up straight, he could reportedly reach the length of 86 Mexican silver dollars stacked atop one another. Given a thickness of 2.4 millimeters, this would put him at around 20.6 centimeters or 8.1 inches. That's especially impressive given that he was likely malnourished during puberty due to both poverty and the 1896 famine. You racist. I thought maybe the chow chow thing works. Oh. I have a few other jokes about this, but I couldn't fit them in the narrative, so I'll just rattle them off. Should have called the horse meat general. When horse he got meat. out of the pool, he was General 12. This one just says Dong Hung Dong. You get the point. But all great things must eventually come to an end. After suffering a series of defeats at the hands Aww. of his enemies and a subsequent failed rebellion against a quickly reunifying China, Ugh. Zhang was forced to run China, in 1928, okay? bringing his mom with him to Beppu, Japan. His time here was relatively uneventful except no, no. for when he shot no. a former prince in the back for trying it on a with one prince. of his concubines and cordy said the gun just Wait. happened to go off he he left china but he still had his concubines okay bro while he was pointing it at the center of the guy's mass for some reason they're like huh, nothing suspicious here gave him the choice between 15 days in prison or a 150 dollar fine for he chose prince Zhang's story finally came to an end in wow. 1932 when he went back to shangdong not as a conqueror but as a visitor unfortunately it seems it takes people more than four years to get over murder because he was unceremoniously assassinated by the nephew of an officer that he had executed all in all Zhang left behind quite a strange legacy a <laughs> what the je why did you go back god there you missed the old place where you used to murder people <sighs> of horrible crimes that i've seen to kind of gloss those. over he's generally regarded as the stinkiest stain <sighs> of an already messy portion of the tapestry that is chinese history the only remaining question is if one can truly separate the art from the artist during his rule time magazine described him as china's basest warlord i'll let you decide whether or not they forgot the de that's all for today till next time i'm salmonella and I'm i don't know if i fridge. believe that god damn okay well
that was a uh, Zhong Zhong Chang. That was I managed to fuck that up even worse than he fucked up his whole history thing. Ah, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'll see y'all next time. Okay, like, subscribe, check out the stream later on today, and yeah, see you next time. Bye, everybody.